Hi everyone, welcome to the very last day of my 30 strokes challenge. Today I am painting a strawberry and I don't know why I picked a strawberry, I think they're very pretty, but trying to paint something in a simple way when there's so many details, it was probably not the best choice. But I did my best and I think it turned out okay. I really really like doing this challenge and I really like the fact that the painting part is really quick. You don't really need to take that long. Time is not an excuse. If you want to practice painting and you don't have to edit videos every day, just the painting part. It doesn't take long. With my first paintings, I used oil, and if you use water-soluble oils, it's pretty easy to clean up, so the setup is not too complicated. If you use regular oils, it might take a little bit longer, and the setup and cleanup will probably take longer than the painting itself. But you can just use gouache or acrylic gouache, or even just acrylics, and you can practice your strokes in 10 to 20 minutes a day. It really doesn't take long. The first paintings took me 20-25 minutes, but over time, um, they usually took me uh, like, I don't know, an average of 12-15 minutes or so. So it's really, really short. So if you're too focused on the details when you paint or you draw and you want to loosen up, that's a wonderful exercise to do. I really learned a lot about myself and, and the way I paint and what I should be doing to get the results that I want. Especially something that I've been talking about in the last few videos, something that paint coach mentions over and over again. Don't worry about wasting your paint, just really put a lot of paint on your brushes so that you have nice and juicy strokes and you don't run out of paint in the middle of your stroke. That happened to me so many times during this challenge that I had to go back and forth with my brush to just use the paint that was on both sides so I didn't have to reload my brush, but it was very painful. <laughs> and when I did have plenty of paint on my brush, it was so much more enjoyable. The paint was gliding on the paper and I just could control my strokes a lot better. I really learned to make my strokes count and think ahead of time where to put them, where to apply the paint, and which color to apply where. I still have a lot of practice to do. I'm, I'm not successful every time, as you've seen during those past 30 days. There's a lot of painting that I think that I completely messed up, but some I'm very happy with and, and they're really what I wanted them to look like. So. They were kind of a hit and miss, and it probably depended on my mood that day, or my lack of concentration, or uh, maybe lack of time. I don't know, but that's why I'm saying I need to practice more, to focus more, so that systematically I can end up with a result that I want. And you can only do that by practicing. But I'm starting to get it, and I'm glad that I tried different mediums, because it made me adjust. I found that this exercise was a lot easier with oils because it was easier to load my brush with the paint. And even if I was running out of paint because of the viscosity, it was still easier to apply on the paper. For a medium like gouache or acrylic gouache, if you run out of paint and if you hadn't used enough water in the first place, it just gets really dry and it's just not fun. So eventually after enough paintings, eventually I was able to adjust, but it took me quite a few tries before I got the hang of it. So yeah, I really like this challenge. It definitely was challenging at times, but it's been a very good experience. And I'm probably going to keep doing this from time to time. Or even on days when I want to paint something but I don't have too much time, I can just grab a sketchbook and then uh, paint a little something really quick. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to take a little break, <laughs> just a few days, and I'll see you soon with another video. No fruit or vegetables, I promise. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.